Well, too. Uh, the, the market, and not just the market, also reacted severely negatively to the Oval Office address. Can, can you help me understand what happened there? I mean, the president said several things. He said uh, that cargo would be banned coming in from Europe. He said he, did, he failed to mention that American citizens would not be subject to the ban. Uh, he said that insurance companies were going to cover all costs associated to treatment of the coronavirus. These were all false statements. How? In, a, in an Oval Office address to statements about the president's own proposals end up being wrong. Well, let me just first comment on your, your reaction to the stock market, because the stock market is going to go up, it's going to go down. We can't focus on every day the move. As it relates to the Oval Office address, the, the president was very clear. He wanted to address a very important point, which was he made the move to shut down travel so that we shut down more cases coming in. Uh, he wanted to reassure the American public. I don't think in an Oval Office address you can address every single issue as you're discussing. And, and I think, you know, we saw... But how does he get things wrong about his own proposal? I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think he got things wrong at all. I mean, cargo's not banned. And we were very clear uh, that people misinterpreted the comment on cargo, and we immediately put out a statement to clarify that. So the president said this is similar to China, and China cargo is not